everyone, welcome back to 366 Days of Hope. My name is Pearl and I'm here to share our next topic, which is how old is too old? So I got asked this question from a friend of mine who was curious about like marriage and relationships. And she was like, how old is too old? And I said, well, here's a few things to consider when you're thinking about age. I know people have said, well, age is just a number. I can understand that as a personal trainer when I say age is just a number because when it comes to fitness and health, your muscles knows no number. Your muscles are able to adapt and build even regardless of what age you start at. Um, and that's the beautiful thing about starting your fitness journey. It doesn't matter when you start, the thing is you started. But when it comes to dating, all right, when it comes to relationships, I think that is a huge factor we have to consider because each generation has a different mindset, has a different experience, and having those collective experiences together is what kind of bonds you over things, and it's really good to have that. Are there outliers where that kind of relationship works? Absolutely. There are times where I have seen relationships where the age gaps are really, really big, but hey, their marriage works because one, they have the same mindset, same goals. Maybe um, they have differences that of opinions that still unify them. Is that a norm that I would suggest personally um, as a married individual? No. And the reason for that are a couple of things. One, it depends on the health of the individual, right? So if there is that say 10 year, 15 year, 20 year age gap, and say one person's healthier than the other, you have to consider, well, you know, as you age together, is the health of that person going to decrease more rapidly than yours? And you have to take on that willingness of taking on the risk of you know what your future is gonna look like. Because let me tell you, I can't even emphasize enough how many times I have seen this. But here's a good example. There was a girl who, she went viral. She was a young person too. She ended up with cancer and her spouse left her. Now, if you are planning on being with someone who's a decade older than you um, and they have health concerns, they're more likely to wind up with um, more health issues down the road at an earlier stage than your life that you have to be willing to accept if you say, I do. And as a Christian, we have made the commitment in sickness and in health, as I stated in my previous um, you know, messages before. Those are so important. So when you have this huge age gap, you have to consider that factor, health. The other thing is financial. Is there a wide financial um, responsibility or difference? Are you guys willing to combine your assets together or are you guys wanting to keep them separate? Because then you have to think about that as well. Because if there's a wide age group and say that person, you know, has experienced life, you know, have had multiple relationships or even marriages, has kids involved in the mix, uh, you need to take th those things in consideration, especially with the age gap. There's more experiences in that. So I'm of the traditional mindset of, you know, why set your foundation up with so many more complications when you don't have to? Like, why not start it as fresh as possible so that when you and your partner come together in a marriage situation, you are growing together and not having multiple differences in terms of like generational mindset because we know that there, you know, if you were born say in the 70s or 80s, you're going to have a different mindset than a person who was born in the 2000s. And so having just a huge age gap is going to affect what you value and um, how you were raised, the things that you um, believe in even might be very different. And so having already a foundation which you guys have a lot of similarities, it's much easier to go through your relationship um, and less likely to have to deal with a foundation that has too many um, obstacles and hoops to go through. Well, with that said, guys, 
May you live, thrive, and be healthy. Take care. Bye.